Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds. And today, we are gonna take a look at how the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone can be used for reconnaissance or a size up for a car accident. Stay tuned. This Mavic 3 thermal, when used correctly, can be a great tool or asset for any first responder for the nature of the car accident, the location of the car accident, or any other intel to provide for incoming units responding to the scene. No matter where we are in the country, assuming we have this drone available and can get it in the air, we can provide those first responders with that valuable information while they are responding to the scene. This drone can be used for a car accident for the exact location of the incident. Dispatch is always getting misinformation from callers on the exact location. Is it northbound, southbound? Is it on the inside lane of a street? Is it on the outside lane of a street? Is it on a bridge? Is it on an overpass? Car accident can be on an off ramp of an interstate or the on ramp. Any valuable information can be useful to the responders coming to the scene. This drone can be utilized for the responders on the exact nature of the car accident. Is it a single car, two cars, three cars? Is it involving a tractor trailer, a tanker? Is the car in a ditch? Is it against the wall? It could be on fire. We could have hazardous materials leaking from the car. Any information is valuable to those first responders coming to the call. Let's keep in mind this Mavic 3 thermal can fly over 19 miles barring any obstructions or frequency issues and it can fly for over 40 minutes so we can essentially launch this drone from anywhere in our city or municipality if we hear that car accident come over the radio and fly to that location to get that early reconnaissance for today's demonstration we're going to take the mavic 3 thermal and we're going to fly over an interstate here in my home city I'm about centrally located. It's later in the afternoon, about rush hour. There's a 20 mile an hour wind, and we're gonna fly over the interstate and give some examples of what kind of intel we can give to those first responders of a, if a car accident happened right now and what it looks like. Okay, we have the Mavic 3T in the air, as you see, and if we heard a car accident come out right now over the radio, we already have a head start. So we're gonna go try to get that intel for the responders coming to the scene. Okay, we have the Mavic 3T in the air and we are flying over the interstate, as you can see. And if a call came out right now and I got the drone in the air pretty quick, the responders are coming to the call. It may take them several minutes or more, depending on traffic conditions, to get to the incident. I can have the drone give that valuable information while they're responding to the scene. Now, right here, we have an on-ramp and an off-ramp. If we got that misinformation from dispatch on the whereabouts of the incident, this is where the drone can help. Another thing to think about is if we have that vehicle accident somewhere way across the city or wherever your jurisdiction is, we can easily fly the drone to the area, hover it over that location, and then get into the car and fly closer to the incident and give that intel just for better line of sight with the drone. This is especially important if we have another driver. Just don't forget to switch that return to home from return to home to return to me so the drone doesn't get confused and return to your starting location. Here's our on-ramp and our off-ramp. So we can provide that information to the responding units. Now we have pretty good conditions right now. Have a little bit of wind, but it is during rush hour. And if this incident happened on one of these on-ramps or off-ramps, we'd be able to tell the responding units exactly where to go and the nature of the incident. Now let's take a look at what it looks like with the infrared camera. There we go. And we'll switch to some white hot. There's a black hot image. And I can fly pretty crook close to the incident once I find where the accident is. So look, you can see the car is looping on right now. This would be much better during the night too, 
with this infrared and helping out. Here we go. Here's a good look of the interstate right now with all the cars moving. If we were to have that accident, we can give that information on is it northbound, southbound, is the accident against the wall, and of course the severity of the incident. Here's another look at our infrared. Go up top here. There's the white hot. This would be very valuable at night if the incident came out. This is all assuming we have the drone available because it may take first responders several minutes. So I have the drone over the interstate right now and I'm flying. If I had this information for the responding units, I'm nowhere near the accident right now. I flew from a couple miles away and I can have it hover over and just get on a radio and let them know exactly what's going on with the incident. Here's another look at the interstate. You can see the wide open area for the cars and no exit ramp. So assuming that a car accident happened on this long stretch, we can fly to the area pretty fast and give that intel. Now something that I like to do, assuming there's no obstructions in the air, is switch from N mode to S mode in the middle top of the remote controller. So I do that. You can see on the screen it says switch to S mode and now I'm flying a lot faster. Infrared. There we go. We can see the traffic flow. And back to our wide angle. Okay, here's a good aerial view of a car accident. If I would have had the drone handy and gotten it up in the air, I could have given a size up before fire rescue got there. But you can see two cars involved. We have heavy damage at an intersection. Fire rescue just got on scene. Here's a look at what this would have looked like at night with the infrared camera. Looks like they hit each other pretty good here at this intersection. So once again, this is the accident. If I would have had the drone handy, I could have gotten there and at least gone over a radio and given these guys a size up about the exact location and what the extent of the damage is. Another look at the traffic during rush hour with the split screen. Pretty neat. So I can get two different views and provide that intel. There's our white hot, do some iron red right here. There we go. Okay, we are in a different location right now. And assuming that I was driving down the street and I heard a car accident come out over the radio, I can just pull over and have the Mavic 3 thermal drone in the air in no time. So we're gonna fly over here to the interstate, which is the wall right behind me, and we're gonna take a look at the traffic. So if we were driving down the street and we heard that car accident come over the radio, we can just pull over, launch the drone, fly to the reported area of the location, go back over the radio and give the exact location of the incident, report the nature of the incident, and what exactly is going on to the responding units. We can tell them location, is it against the median or off in a ditch somewhere, the number of vehicles, is it going to require an extrication, is there a fuel spill, is it an overturned vehicle. We can get good looks with our infrared camera and all this information is valuable to the units coming to the call. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone and how it can be used for early reconnaissance and sizing up a vehicle accident. Anytime we can provide those first responders with that early intel on the location of the incident, the nature of the incident, or any other valuable information, I think this drone will be useful and an asset. If you have any further questions, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Happy flying. 
Have a nice day.